This guide has been inspected and approved by Luminous. Hey guys, this is Suns Fan, and welcome to the official Dota Cinema Guide to Chen. If you aren't familiar with this hero, you may want to watch the introduction we did for him at the corresponding link. Chen is an intelligence hero who thrives in the jungle. His ability to support, gank, and push at a relentless pace is what makes him a top tier pick. Skill build. There are two skill builds for Chen. It really depends on what your team composition is. If you feel you need a slow in order to gank successfully, then this first build is the one you want to follow. Get one level of Holy Persuasion right off the bat in order to get a creep right away. Then put the next two levels into Penitence, which will help you catch up to enemies as well as deal more damage. At levels 4, 5, and 7 you'll go back to Holy Persuasion. The reason for this is you don't gain the ability to have two creeps until it's level 3 times. Once you've maxed out Holy Persuasion, then finish leveling Penitence. Hand of God is an amazing ultimate and should be leveled at the standard 6, 11, and 16 no matter what. That of course leaves Test of Faith for last. The second build, which is what pros typically follow, is very similar to the previous one, except you literally swap leveling Penitence in exchange for Test of Faith. The reason for this is the burst damage is usually needed more than a slow because the lanes you're ganking will typically already have sufficient CC. Item build. As a support, it's your duty to buy either the Courier or Wards right away. In addition to this, pick up a Sage's Mask as well as Clarities. In the early stages, the Sage's Mask will be turned into a Ring of Basilius, which will give you mana regen as well as extra armor for you and your creeps. Arcane Boots are just about the only boots players pick up on Chen, since you'll gain more mana capacity coupled with the fact that they're great to support your team with. And although they aren't picked up on just about anyone at the time of this recording, Building Tranquil Boots is a decent idea if you're low on gold. They give you a lot of move speed and are extremely cheap to make. The best part about this is that theoretically later in the game you can take apart the boots, turning them to Arcane Boots, take apart the Ring of Protection and make it into a Vlad's, and then take apart the Ring of Regen and make it into a Mech. As far as core items you'll generally want to pick up on Chen as the game progresses, a Mech would be at the top of the list. Having this plus your ultimate will give your team a ton of survivability. And if you can afford it, try and get your hands on an Aghanim Scepter. Being able to pop your ultimate every 30 seconds is a godsend. Before we go on, let me stress that Chen is not very item dependent. Because of that, any of these items that can be picked up are considered situational. Medallion of Courage is one example of this, as it will help against those high HP heroes as well as Roshan. Smokes of Deceit are probably the best consumables you can purchase, since they will also cloak your creeps, making ganks across the map that much easier. Aside from this, Vlads could be built depending on your team composition, as well as a pipe based on the other team's composition as well as your farm. Drums are also an excellent addition to a utility hero like Chen. For extremely late game luxury items, we'll make it simple. Get a Shiva's or Scythe of Ice. Gameplay. Before we get into specific situations, let's go over Chen's favorite creeps. Centaur Khan is a classic as it will allow you to stun enemy heroes in a 250 AoE for 2 seconds. The damage is only 25, but in addition to the stun, he will also give off a Swiftness Aura, which will give every ally a 900 AoE plus 15% attack speed. The creep itself has 1100 HP and 200 mana, which means he can cast War Stomp twice. The Ursa Warrior is another creep that Chen players love. His ability is called Thunderclap and will slow enemies' movement speed and attack speed in a 300 AoE for 20% for 3 seconds. This will also damage for 150. He has the same tank ability as Centaur Khan, but will be able to use Thunderclap three times. The Wildkin Warchief is considered the most overpowered in some respects. Although he has less HP than the previous two creeps mentioned, he gives off a Toughness Aura that will improve everyone's armor by three. He also has a channeled ability called Tornado, which is great for pushing and general harassment. Last but not least is the Dark Troll Warlord, which has 1100 HP but only one armor. He has two spells one of which will raise two skeleton warriors for your bidding, which will help for pushing. His other skill is called Ensnare and will immobilize a unit within 550 range. The best thing about this skill is it interrupts channeling abilities and goes through BKB. So there's always a counter to a bkb enigma. Also keep in mind that although we won't go over every creep, there are some additional ones that provide auras that could be useful in certain situations as well. As far as when you start jungling, try to gank at level 1 if you feel confident in your microing skills. Really, there isn't much to say here other than communicate with whatever lane you're ganking and try to layer your skills properly. There's nothing worse than having two stuns go off at the same time and the enemy getting away because of it. It's usually easier if the lane initiates for you as you come from behind the enemy, and obviously the creep you have will dictate how this will go. 
but in the early game just keep ganking and be sure to use your creeps to their full capacity when pushing. They're all relatively tanky and can take quite a few hits from the tower. As far as Hand of God goes, keep in mind that Chen is extremely mana intensive, especially in the early game. So only use this if it's going to change the course of a gank or fight. And remember that Holy Persuasion will also send allies back to the fountain, which can be absolutely game breaking. This can be abused with the purchase of TPs by these same teammates as well. And also remember that this will work instantly on your own creeps. In team fights, try and keep your teammates alive by popping your ult and any items you've purchased at good times. Your penitence can be used as just a slow or an amplified damage of sorts to kill hard enemies. If you die in a team fight, don't forget to keep microing your units. Spending time finding new creeps means your team will be playing 4v5 without your support. In addition to this, when it gets to later in the game, you don't want to take jungle farm away from your carries. So take care, damn creeps, son. Tell you what. Friends and foes. Heroes that Chen would prefer to play with are those that can get guaranteed stuns or slows in order for him to gank successfully. Examples of this would include Vengeful Spirit, Witch Doctor, and Lich. What counters Chen, you ask? Well, the answer to that is heroes that can stop him from pushing. Furion and ES are great counter pushers, as well as AA, who can nullify your heal altogether. Another way to counter Chen is to eat his creeps. Doombringer, Clinks, and Nakes have the ability to do this, along with the Hand of Midas. But the most annoying hero to play against if you're Chen would have to be Enchantress. All I can say is it's kind of like playing an endless game of tug of war. Thanks for watching, guys, and please remember to subscribe to our YouTube. Also, a special shout out goes to Flawless and Luminous for their help in writing this guide. You can check them out at their respective YouTube channels, which are linked in the video description. Also, be sure to check out our website at dotacinema.com. My name is Sunsfan, and I still love you.